As John Miller just told us, the bomb might have gotten past metal detectors. Now investigators are trying to determine if airport body scanners would have caught it. Meanwhile, an official at the Department of Homeland Security tells us there will be no noticeable changes in airport security as a result of this plot. Transportation correspondent Mark Strassman is with us now. Mark? Well, Scott, these full body scanners have been controversial from the beginning, both for health and privacy concerns and for a debate about their overall effectiveness. But the TSA is relying on them more and more to stop people who are literally trying to walk a hidden explosive onto the plane. Right now, the TSA says there are 670 full body scanners in place in 170 U.S. airports, there to stop the threat of a bomb hidden under someone's clothing. The machines cost a quarter million dollars a piece. With x-rays or electromagnetic waves, they scan for threats, metallic ones, such as guns and knives, and non-metallic ones, such as plastic explosives. But a government report released in March revealed that in some airports, scanners were in use less than 5% of the time, and in 12 airports were installed, but not used regularly. These scanners are used in most European airports, London, Paris, Rome. They're less common in Africa and Asia. The Israelis, considered to have the toughest airport security in the world, Scott, they don't use these machines because they think that they're unreliable. Mark, thank you very much.